the beginning, the, the start of statistical management does not actually begin with numbers. It begins with how you describe the game. And by that I mean, when do you end your week? Now, in seminars and instruction I've done all over the world on the subject of management by statistics, I have asked that question. And not a great percentage of the audience has a distinct end of week. Many of you watching this now may well have, but it begins with when do you end your week? Because again, the tennis game, the golf game uh, that goes on forever becomes no fun. So one of the first things that are, are necessary to achieve good management by statistics protocol is when do you end your week? Now, often I hear, oh, we end our week on Friday. That's when our week ends. Okay. But then the next question is why? Why do you end your week on Friday? Well, we end our week on Friday because that's the end of the week. We work Monday to Friday. And the next question that you need to look at is when do you have your meeting where you evaluate the statistics at the end of the week? Well, we usually meet on Tuesday afternoon. All right, so the week ends on Friday, but then you have a meeting about production on Tuesday. Therefore, we're missing a bunch of production. In a football game, when, if they play on Sunday, when do they look at the films? Monday. If it's a soccer game, and it takes place on Sunday, when do they look at the films? Well, usually uh, right after, so things are fresh. And indeed, why do they even look at the films? Well, because we wanna see how we did. Statistics will tell you how we did. It doesn't tell you why you did what you did, whether the numbers were up or down, but it does indicate that this is an area to look at meaning the numbers are off, that gets your attention. Meaning the numbers are good, that should get your attention. But there's an odd thing that humans do. If things are not going well, everybody wants to know why. What's happening? Why aren't they going well? Where, where are our numbers? Where are the new people? Where are the new patients? Where are the new customers? And then if things turn around, things are going really well, then what? Do we now want to know? Do we want to look? No, I don't, it's going good. I don't want to know. I, you know, this, this is management by karma. In other words, there was a reason why the numbers were down, but you don't want to know why they're, they're up. I don't want to touch it. I, I, see, that, that, that's irresponsible. More importantly, it's a major management flaw. One gets real interested when the numbers are down or numbers are up or indeed when we're tracking normal trends. So this factor of knowing what took place becomes important as, if I may use the word, responsibility. And by responsibility, we simply mean ability to respond. Respond to what? Respond to what took place that day or during that week. Oh, well, but we, you know, I know how we did. I cannot tell you the number of times that I have been with clients who thought they were doing well, and when we got them up on a graph using all the modern tools and software, which by the way is very easy to do, we found that you know they weren't doing so well. It was kind of flat. But because there were a few good weeks, a few good months, it gave the impression that maybe they were doing okay. On the other hand, I've had the opposite. I've had somebody say, well, you know, I don't it's been kind of tough. I don't think we're doing that well in some area or aspect of the business or practice. Only to find out when we ran the numbers, when we put the graphs up, actually they were doing quite well. But it was masked because of a few weeks that weren't so hot or some disaster that happened in some plant somewhere and gave them the impression, you see. So this management by statistics is not simply some nice thing to do. It is a vital, effective, and important tool 
within which you can manage and grow that business.